which is their snatched release. Um, if you're, ex hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another poly gel set using one of McCart's newly released collections. This is the blush collection. And, uh, this is one of their holiday releases along with the snatched uh, collection that we just did the other day. If you want to check out that video, I'll definitely link it down in the description box below. But for today, we're going to be playing with pink. I love the color pink and who doesn't love pink if you're interested in checking out what we come up with then please keep on watching getting right into this unboxing this is everything that comes in the kit you have your directions of course with how to use poly gel you get your poly gel brush with your spatula on the other end you get a 100 180 nail file a base coat and a top coat and in this kit you get four poly gel colors you also get a batch of dual forms uh, two sizes one is more curved while the other one is more straight and flat two uh, things of stickers or two sheets of stickers which are fun for Christmas getting into the swatches this one here is called cheeky then we have rosy we have glow and then we have Kiki. Nothing too bright and bold and crazy. Everything's uh, really neutral in my opinion. I'm doing the Femi Beauty Method, so I have my tips all picked out. I'm using 91% rubbing alcohol as my slip solution. Going in with the base coat, I'm gonna start applying that to my nails. I usually work with one or two at a time just because it leaves a sticky layer on top. I don't want any hairs or dust particles getting stuck onto the tacky layer. I wanted to do something similar to what I did on my other hand, so we're doing a French nail design. I'm going to be taking glow and applying that to the tips of the nails, and then I'm going to be taking the different color pinks and applying that to the cuticle area. When doing this method, you want to make sure that you're applying a thin layer of poly gel on the inside of the nail. I'm curing the very tip of it because I didn't want it to move while I was putting the cuticle bead in there. For my ring finger, I'm just going to make this one the solid white nail in the glow poly gel. Chasing the ghost or don't try. I'm top of the shelf, but you up to self to somebody else. It's too late. Don't really care about all of your mistakes. You were out of your league in the first place. Not even surprised that you let me down, down, down. I gave you too much honestly, and you closed the door. Just to recap, after you apply the base coat, you're going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then when you finish with your nail and you apply it onto your finger, you're going to cure it onto your nail for another 60 seconds.
I wanted to do a French nail on all of my nails minus the ring finger, but honestly all of the pinks looked the same to me. I don't know, maybe it was just because I was doing them in full cover tips or something, but I could not really tell a difference. So, and I really, really didn't like the way that my pinky turned out, so I'm making the thumb a solid pink nail and then I'm going to fix it afterwards. Now that everything is in place and cured, I'm taking some rubbing alcohol and cleaning up the sticky layer on the top of the nail and also underneath the nail. I'm going to take my e-file and just really clean up the cuticle area because I did have a little bit extra come uh, spill out from underneath. So I'm cleaning that up and then I'm going to shape them up a little bit. When you use full cover tips, there's that little rigid edge at the very top. So you want to file that down. Plus I tried to make them the same length as my other side. This is how we're looking after everything has been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm taking some of this pink polish from Jellish. Because I didn't like the way my pinky and my thumb turned out, I'm gonna paint over that with this pink color. I'm running you away, but you push me away. Taking some of those snowflake stickers, I'm going to be placing those um, up the nail on my pinky and also my thumb. I really loved the way that the white snowflakes looked on the uh, pink nails. It's very soft and delicate looking to me. I didn't get the polishes in this launch, but I'm using this color Shining Star from the McCart and Femi Beauty uh, collaboration. Honestly, I thought this looked absolutely perfect. It's this really pretty silvery color and it just really brought out the elegance of the pink. You think you're too far, but I'm where you are, you know I said I ooh, won't leave your side. They left you bare, but I'm begging you, sir, in my eyes for you. Yeah, I took my life. And I'm not here to hear you say you're fine. I can take a pain you hold inside. I'm adding some top coat on to this nail and I really wanted to give this nail like a snowy effect. I have these uh, caviar beads that I haven't been able to use yet so I thought it would look so cute on here. I'm just going to pour these over the top and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds just to keep it all in place. Look how freaking pretty that is. Oh, I love it! Taking some more of those uh, snowflake stickers, I'm going to be placing those on my middle finger and also my index finger. I really liked the uh, blue, pink, the red stickers, but I didn't think they went very well with it. So I just wanted to add a little pop of color, I guess. I mean, it's really small, but I just feel like they didn't really go with the vibe. So I tried to keep it minimal.
this is the finished look honestly i think they turned out so much better than i thought they would at the beginning i mean they just look so gorgeous i love the ring finger i actually love the pink i'm really glad that i decided to paint over that the snowflakes the glitter oh my god it just looks so pretty and elegant and classy you know what i mean if you are interested in this kit or anything from a cart, you guys, you can use my code SFDreamBeauty to save 15% off. As always, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this set and these nails. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!